Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum, when each day a member of the CAM family shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily, and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. And in honor of Valentine's Day, we thought we would show Cincinnati a little bit of love with this poetic tribute. Seven Hills and a Queen to Name Them. Poem commissioned by Artworks underwritten by the Johnson Foundation, and crafted by Chase Public. I always say a prayer when I see you through the cut in the hill, my drama queen city. You swam in bourbon and blues and called your song the river. I doused myself in your laughter. Now I climb hilltop woods and stone halos to find an unabridged view. You're an artist until proven innocent. I reached for your hand in a gallery with a painting named Springtime. You stood me in the northern light of a Court Street window and made a photograph. You made a way with me. Cincinnati was first spoken by the mouth of the licking in a bend of the Good River, the Ohio, a city lifted by the genius of water. Who can know this place? Its streets laid out with the peculiar vision of constellation charts. Let's draw our own maps, triangulate the bells of every parish, Sketch neighborhoods that overlap zip codes. Buy a cone at every summertime stand. Blow a horn at every pawn shop. Eat barbecue and slaw at every smoker. While we sift through the small talk, which chili parlor, west side or east? State or commonwealth? What high school? Can anyone say where our city ends? The queen shares her crown with the northern south and all who call her home. Our city's limits are carved in hearts, not stone. The queen dreamed out loud. Mama's gonna pull history from the buildings, roll it out on the street for you to see. Original brick, hidden under siding, under asphalt. Story on story, hoisting us higher into history. Mama's gonna open bar doors, stretch the taps out to the sidewalk, pour drafts for drinking. Light the sacred glass in blooms of stonework, and paint the streets like a beer bottle mosaic. Mama's gonna build a boat bigger than Noah's, a wheel and tall stacks to whistle your name. Plow the lonely barge lanes in winter and hop skip the river boat to boat when fireworks fly. Mama wants to make it happen. Mama's doing it for you. Corn-fed pig town. You taught me three ways, get a fests and pony kegs, bangle shouts and winter winds. You taught me to Ezra Charles, to jab, weave, and strike like a cobra, to throw myself out of the corner and into the fight, to cheer into the river night with the ghosts and golden spirits of Crosley Field, a palace to the fans, throat sore, eyes too full of light. You taught me to avoid the tag, to sing the knotted history of the hit king with a stubborn tongue, to slide headfirst into home. I came for the magic and stayed for the music. Heard your trumpet calls, symphonies, and syncopations. I let a stranger sing to me lines that told the truth like graffiti over sanctioned street art. She phrased a phrase too charged to hold key. Music reaches down the one ways from a public stage, rebounds off homes from church festivals. Brick here is a canvas for revolution. A reawakening of sweat and spirit. The site of the blacksmith off ridge is now a record store. Hammer clang to cymbal crash. Time goes by, places change, the rhythm pushes on. The fog rolls over the night hills, not every hill, but here. Rolls in and hides the limits of the night. I drive Montgomery Road to our centennial house. From the porch, I hear the baby cry. A new squall storming old plaster. Joining the wind, an anthem to our alma mater. In my arms, I shush with wordless whispers and no magic sounds to settle an arrival home. This street where puddles splash, on this hill with no historic name, one among many, the fog paddles on into memory. Home, the name of a surprising house, its numbers bright as jewels. There's a title for every square foot of this city. We call them all again, reclaim them. Choosing a name is a declaration of intent, but it's uncertain magic. Cincinnati, named for a leader who cast aside his sword when the war was won. Named for powers surrendered, and power is surrendered in time. Swords not laid down will one day drop. We who had been torn, stirred, packed down, formed and baked into the brick of change are now referred to as able. 
spoken of when pointing to progress. The mystery unwinds, but doesn't unravel. Cincinnati is a promise we make to our inner selves, and I promise there are still stories to tell and to tell. Streets to walk and corners like the city to come around. Marry me in Eden Park. Lay with me at Spring Grove. It would be beautiful. You're the heart in my wrist, the arrow on my chest. I tried to draw you some mysterious name, but you turned my line into a circle around us. Sing the Queen City. Say home. Coast the long cut. Cross that bridge. So are we all feeling the love for Cincinnati? That poem was created in 2015 as part of a project that Artworks did called Cincy Inc. And it was a really cool project that they put boxes all over the city and encouraged Cincinnatians to share what they loved about the city. And then 263 of us, and I say us, had parts of that poem tattooed on their bodies. Here's mine. I was so proud to be part of that project, and it really is a way of showing love to this great city. Thanks, and I would love to hear how you show love to this great city. Thanks, and have a great day.